This has been one of the most requested videos that I have ever made in my life. This is a recreation of the scale SERP video, which is using search operators with a scraping program to find Redbubble keywords. This video is gonna show you how to do the same thing, but to find digital downloads for Etsy. You can easily replace the words in the search operator if you wanna find t-shirts. I will also show you how to do that. This is gonna be quite a long video. If I'm going too quickly, please put it on 0.75 speed. Let's get into the video. So how does this work exactly? You can find this spreadsheet on in the description. Basically, you just need to copy one of these and you need to go on Google and you need to search for it. What does this do exactly? This is gonna show us a huge variety of keywords. What a search operator does is it takes Google and it tells Google to show us only results from Etsy. And what I've done is I've put the word market in here and what that does is it makes it only show us Etsy search result pages, okay? And then you hit, then all you need to do is put download as well here. Another thing you could do if you really wanted, you could do results and then if you wanna find low competition stuff, you could do one to, I don't know, 500 for example. And then this should, if I'm right, show very, very low results things like this, for example. Results tracking, uh, 429 results. I'm seeing some sales here, so yeah, it could be a potential uh, niche. And you can basically go through this and find some stuff. We're not gonna be doing that in this video. I just wanted to mention that you can do that if you want to. So we're actually gonna be mixing a few different methods together. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be finding niches I'm gonna show you how I found the niches and then I'm gonna show you how you can find tags and do the SEO for those niches as well using a very, very interesting method that we've obviously seen before on this channel. Okay, so what you can do is you can just search through it like this, just normally have a little look, see if you can find anything interesting. Uh, yeah, basically you can do it like this. Or what we can do is we can go on tools, click on any time and put it on the past month, for example, and we can see what is kind of starting to rank in the last month, okay? So Santa lost button, I have no idea what this is. Really interesting. Is this really downloadable? 20,000 sales. I know, I know it's not just this one thing that has 20,000 sales, but... Uh, no, this is actually something that's delivered, so it's not a digital download. You can see some really strange, really interesting uh, keywords here. Basically, church newsletter, that's that's pretty interesting. Kind of weird, I guess, kind of a weird niche. Uh, okay, that's a, yeah, I guess. Okay, so this is how the method works. Okay, but let's talk about this in a bit more detail. So let's go to scale SERP. As you may or may not know, if you've seen the, uh, the other video that I made, this is an incredibly powerful and incredibly free tool. So what we can do is we can use this tool to basically search, do, do the same thing, but en masse, okay? So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. Just go on scale SERP, sign up for a free account. Do not zoom in and out while you're doing this because for some reason you will instantly lose any progress that you've made. Location, again, this is really useful, obviously, because I'm in Italy. So the fact that I can then put United States is super, super useful. You can put the time period. I'm gonna put custom and I'm gonna go back. The min date is the from, so from 2016 and then to today. I don't really mind about any of the other things except sort by which I'm going to put date because I want to see the newest ranking things first. Page, I believe you can't do anything. Max page, I think is 500. Number of results, I believe is 100 is the maximum. We're going to put it in CSV format. Uh, we're not going to choose the fields and then we're going to click send API request. This should work first time, I'm hoping. Okay, so classic, I just zoomed out to see the results better and yeah, the same thing happened. Okay, so we can see here, uh, we have all of these results here. What we can do is we can actually copy them to clipboard and we can open a new Google Sheet like this. We can hit blank here and then we can control V them into here. No, we can't. 
So instead, let's download the CSV data because apparently copying to clipboard doesn't work. Although maybe if I put it in a notepad, it will work. Oh, no, it's just easier to download it as a, as a CSV. Let's leave here, open a new file, upload, and yeah, there we go. This will then put it into a readable format. We can open this with Google Sheets, and now we can see a little bit better. So the organic results, this is what we're interested in. Let's make this bigger. And you can just see all of the things that we just saw, basically, okay? So word search could be a good niche. Um, gender announcement, digital download girl could be a good niche. No idea, <laughs> really, to be honest with you. I don't know what's a good niche, what's a bad niche. Trampoline party invitations, instant download. Sure, why the hell not? Elephant baby shower invitation. These are all niches that, you know, I don't know if they're big niches, but the point is, is that they're probably not going to be that um, competitive. Obviously, some of them will be, like, unicorn stuff is normally pretty competitive, but it's a really, really interesting keyword, okay? So, unicorn birthday invitation. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take that keyword, I'm going to click on discover new keywords here, I'm going to go on English. United States and this is Google AdWord Keyword Planner. I will leave a video in the description on how to set this up. I'm not going to show you how to set it up in this video because I've just done it so many times. It's a big niche. It's a, it's a surprisingly big niche. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to show you as well is this tool is looking like it might be amazing for Etsy uh, tags and Etsy SEO. I'm probably gonna make a separate video about this, but just to kind of warn you guys, it looks like this might be an incredibly good tool to do the tags. So what you can do is you can click here and you can copy them at the end. So just click on all of these, okay? You could probably select all. I don't know how many tags you're allowed on um, Etsy because I don't sell on Etsy, um, but yeah, you can just copy all of these and however many you're allowed, that's how many you would put. They're already in order of average, well they're not, now they're in order of average monthly searches on Google. This is really, really vital information if you're selling on Etsy, okay? And it's completely free. This tool is completely free. This tool is completely free. This tool is completely free, okay? What we can do is to get different results is we can do, uh, we, I think we can change the page here, the page results. So let's put this on six. And then I'm gonna press send API request again. I just wanna see if this changes the results. Let's get rid of them, let's get rid of max page and then let's send API request again. The idea here is we, we need a way to make it so we can keep seeing different results. Otherwise, we're just gonna see the same results over and over and over. And that's obviously exactly what we don't want. Okay, so it looks like the one that we need to change is max page. So let's just change max page again and send the API request again. This tool, um, it's free up to a point, but if you do need more API requests, it's incredibly cheap. I'm not gonna put any affiliate links or anything like that because I don't want people to think that I'm trying to make money from this video through affiliate links. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to do everything for free. But if you go completely crazy with this tool and you need more API requests, it's incredibly reasonable. It's like $4 or something for an absolute crap ton of um, API requests. So another thing we can do, out oh, that loaded in the end. Let's have a look if these are different. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're completely different. So if we want different results each time, all we need to do is change the max page, okay? I wouldn't change anything else. Just change the max page and everything else, just leave the same. Let's try this on six. Oh, okay, the max max page is actually five. So there is actually a limit to the amount of data that we can see here. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have different search operators in order to change this up. Trust me, guys, you're going to want to keep watching this video because I'm going to go really into detail with a specific niche. I'm going to show you an amazing niche towards the end of this video. Make sure you keep watching for that. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the search operator. So instead of in-text download, I'm gonna have in-text printable, and that should change everything up. 
What I'm actually gonna suggest that we do is, I'm gonna put max page here, number of results, 100, like this. Uh, we're gonna start on max page one, actually, and we're gonna slowly go up to five, which will give us the most amount of keywords that we can get, basically, okay? And yeah, I would keep everything nice and organized in one spreadsheet, and then slowly but surely, you'll have a list of maybe 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 potential keywords. So you can see here, this is exactly the same thing, principal coloring book, first day of school principal, principal wall art, self-help principal, weekly planner principal, diorama principal, sign up principal. These are all gonna be decent niches. It's up to you guys to find out which niche is good and which niche is bad. 3D principal sort, that's very interesting. What I find absolutely fascinating about this kind of thing is um, how many searches this kind of thing has. Yeah, up to 1,000 searches. All of them have like huge amounts of searches, I've noticed, like a lot of principal niches have really, really high searches per month, which is why I'm so interested in it. Teacher thank you printable. Really, really interesting. I love to check, yeah, look at that. Wow. Teacher thank you printable. Wow. Insane. So obviously one thing that we have to think about is that a lot of people want free stuff and they're not necessarily willing to pay uh, anything for Etsy, okay? But uh, generally speaking, you can see this person has uh, 5,512 sales. Just this one particular thing has um, 23 reviews, which could be, I don't know, up to 100 sales if only one quarter of everyone that sees it or buys it leaves a review. So another thing that we can put in the in text to find something different here is actually digital file type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to the list here. We're gonna slowly but surely have a way to get 10,000 keywords completely for free. The thing that you wanna do before is you wanna test whether the search operator works, otherwise it's not gonna work on ScaleSerp. So let's hit enter here. You can see, yep, it works perfectly fine. Another thing we can do if we just want pure keywords is we can get rid of the word market on the hashtag, on the, on the slash. And then instead what we can do is put listing, I believe, yeah. So we can put slash listing. What this does is it gives us instant keywords, okay? Like, look, no justice, no peace, uh, you know, all of these different things. These are all just instant uh, keywords instead of the thing that I was doing before, which was showing the market. So what we can do is I can get these three here and instead of market, I can put listing, okay? And you can do that for each one. I'm slowly but surely giving you guys the tools that you need in order to make a successful uh, download um, shop, Etsy download shop, okay? That's the point of this video. I said I was gonna start my own shop. I probably am gonna start my own shop still because it's looking like it's a huge, huge business. But I thought that I would show you guys how to actually do that for yourselves. Okay, so once we have done that, what I want to do is I want to try this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to try this listing on um, ScaleSerp, okay? So we'll do uh, siteedsy.com slash listing in text download, okay? And then max page one, and then just send API request as usual. It's the exact same process as before, nothing has changed. It's just we've changed what we're actually looking for, okay? So we can see, for example, exploding heart quilt pattern. And what you wanna do is you wanna just take one of these and you want to put it on, oh, that's interesting. I just, very interesting. Nurse, thank you, principal. Firefighter, thank you, principal. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. I need to add that to videos to make. Okay, so it's looking like a Google ad keyword planner is insanely good for um, Etsy, <laughs> basically. Exploding heart quilt pattern has got a huge amount of searches every month. 
This must have a load of sales. This is just super, super interesting to me. Okay, so I've given you the, I've given you the tools in order to find your own keywords. What happens when you find a niche that you like? How do we, how do we, you know, do all the SEO, etc. I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but I wanted to talk about it in this video because I said that I would, and I found an amazing niche, and I said that I would give you the niche. So the niche is actually handwriting practice sheets on Etsy, okay? So it's not that competitive. It's, it's got a lot of results, but these are all, most of these are downloads, okay? You can make this very, very easily on Canva, okay? All you need to do is, um, you, yeah, it's super, super easy. Canva actually has templates for this. So let's go on Canva. What you do is you create a design, type worksheets. You cannot use their um, templates, okay? Let me say that now, you cannot use their templates, but you can take this template and you can sell it as a customizable um, set for kids, okay? So let's say, you sell it for $30 and each one you will edit to have the student's name and then the teacher can print it, okay? It saves the teacher a lot of time and you're making good money from doing this. You cannot use this exact one. You have to change it, okay? So use this as inspiration, but you cannot use this exact um, format, this exact template. But once you have that, what I noticed was if you search handwriting practice, my keyboard's dying. Um, yeah, so if you, if you search handwriting practice on Google Ads, it's actually insane. It says cursive writing practice here. This is super, super interesting. It's taken the word and it's given another word that is semantically related to handwriting practice. It's not the same word, okay? And look what else comes up. Classroom resources, teacher resources, handwriting exercise. I th personally think this is an amazing niche and it's definitely something that I would look into more. And it's probably what I would sell if I wasn't making this video because now it's probably gonna get taken over. But th I think this is a really, really good niche. And the fact that this is so good for Etsy tags, I've given you two free tools in this video, okay? Scale SERP in order to find the niches. This is exactly how I found the handwriting practice niche, okay? Through this method, I found, using search operators, I found that people were selling handwriting practices, and then I put handwriting practice into Google AdWords, and the results just blew me away, and I knew that I had to make this video as soon as possible, okay? So I would take something like improving handwriting worksheets, something that has a few less searches every month, and then I would use all of these tags. I don't know how many tags you're allowed on Etsy. It's probably like 20. I would take the top 20 of these and I'd put them on my listing. I would use Canva. I would use this as an inspiration. I would use Canva to make the design. You can either do it as an editable thing or you can just do it as a downloadable um, PDF and a traceable JPEG for iPad. I did a lot of research into this niche and you're good to go. You just need to keep making different handwriting practices. You can do different languages. You can do different, I don't know, cursive, non-cursive. Cursive is where things are like joined up. You can do non-cursive, all that kind of stuff. You can see there's just insane amounts of searches, insane amounts of, uh, you know, different keywords, aesthetic handwriting template. Look at that, that's an amazing keyword. Let's see if Etsy is here. Yeah, it is. It's got a lot of competition, but I mean, I don't really care because you can just use ads and I think that's how Etsy works. It doesn't really matter if there's a lot of competition. You just need to find a niche, upload a lot of products, pay for ads, start to get sales. I'm really, really interested in this, guys, and I can't believe how good Keyword Planner is for Etsy. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you make some sales on Etsy. I did say actually that I would help people find t-shirts, but I think I will save that for another video. Thanks for watching as usual and peace.